The left hand is free to operate the radio transmission switch. The pilot's hand controller can start nitrogen jets that will pitch, roll, or yaw the yellow cage in either direction or in any combination of these directions. He can thus counteract the rotation induced in the three cages by the test engineer in setting up the test conditions. The test engineer starts the three cages rotating in roll, pitch, and yaw by means of the nitrogen pressure jets at the rates designated for the test. When the desired condition of rotation is reached, control is given to the pilot, and he then proceeds to fly the space vehicle. By the proper operation of his hand controller, the pilot can orient the vehicle into an upright position while the outer cages are still rotating. The pilot's ability to control the tumble of his vehicle and his reaction to these high rates of rotation are recorded, as well as the length of time required for him to recover from simple single axis maneuvers to those involving rotation about all three axes. The results of this investigation will permit an estimate of some of the difficulties to be encountered when man first ventures into space, as well as provide a degree of training for future astronauts in the attitude control of a space vehicle.